I just uh, temporarily wired up the after a stern thruster just to let you see it going. I've also put temporary uh, battery packs onto the lights to let you see how bright they are and as I say they are super bright lights 4.8 volts takes to make them work and as you can see they are really really bright I will let you see the thrusters going now I've switched everything on and the lids back on you might hear a wee tweak in here that's the speed controller I think uh, but I will let you see the lateral thrusters this is them going round now that's a head that's a stern This is a vertical thruster. You can just see the shadow of it turning down there. And just trying to do two things here in one go. <laughs> but this is a, a stern thruster. Maneuver the ROV port or starboard under the water. I haven't connected up the servo for the camera because it meant taking off the dome again. So, but uh, as I say, that's it. Basically, you can see the thruster underneath there. That's the temporary battery pack for the lights. That's a... And uh, I'll let you see what I have done inside uh, for the switches and everything. I'm going to change this uh, setup as well. I'm going to have a LED on the outside of the ROV and that will show me an indication that it is still switched on. You can see the red LED here. I'll just switch everything off and you'll see it going off. That's all the power off. That's the ser servo uh, uh, speed controllers off and that's the Receiver uh, battery is disconnected. So that's it. And uh, as I say, hopefully, next time you see it, it will be actually inside the water taking some video footage underwater. I'll uh, try and do it in my one of my local harbors uh, and maybe to try and take some footage of some of the, the boats that's in there from the underside of them and maybe go down to the bottom and see what's on the bottom of the harbour and hopefully uh, we'll have some video footage of, of this happening but I'll just switch these lights off uh, as you can see they're pretty pretty bright and uh, as I say that's a manipulator just positioned to where it'll probably sit once we're uh, working through the actuator and a uh, bit of luck I might have that fixed as well and you'll see everything working together.